Many Nigerian students stranded in Sami, Ukraine, have called for urgent evacuation back home amid a Russian invasion. Sami in northeast Ukraine is close to the Russian border. In videos obtained online, the students said they have dwindling access to food, water and electricity. They also said they wake up most mornings to the sound of explosions and spend hours in bomb shelters beneath their hostels. The federal government has evacuated more than 1,000 Nigerians who made it out of Ukraine to neighboring countries such as Poland and Romania. But the students in Sami are yet to find a way out of the war torn Ukraine. Great Nigerian students. Great. Great Nigerian students. Great. This is what do we want? We want to go! What do we want? We want to go! People, we do not ask, we do not tell them to stop their war. They can continue. Are we begging them? Do they have do we have any personal interest in this? No. What are we gaining from it? Nothing! We just want to go home. Everybody, let us do so we can go home. Because I'm really not interested in coming back. I don't want to come back. I don't want to come back. Please, 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 let us just go home. Early this morning, 5 a.m., 4 a.m., we were woken up with how many bombs? Six. It was six. I counted each and every one of them. Six. Next thing, we want to go home. And they are telling us, first of all, they increase the price of taxi. Who pays almost two million naira to go back to Potava, a two-hour journey? Anybody that is hearing this, from Kaduna to Abuja, two hours. You are telling me to pay a million naira. For like the past two weeks now, since this war has started, apparently there has been a route to leave Sumi since. But school has refused to provide us with buses, with um, transportation to leave this place. We know about like almost 50 students that have left from this Sumi Uni and Sumi to go to Poltava. At any amount, we do not care what they have left. Now they have decided to go and block that route. At this point, I don't know what is going on, and we are not going to be used as bait. Please, let us go. Please, let us go. We do not want to be a part of your war. Please. How would you do this? You could reach agreement with the Ukrainian government, the Russian government, a serious agreement. Just create a humanitarian corridor so we can live here. We are tired. A lot of people are going to develop PSTD after this. And it's going to be very serious on this. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.